Hello, everyone, and welcome back to BlenderDiplom.com. I'm Gottfried Hofmann, and in this Blender 2.8 Alpha 2 preview video, I'm going to introduce you to one of the more controversial recent changes to the interface in Blender 2.8, and that is monochromatic icons. You can see this down here already, but let me go to user preferences and scale the interface up so we see everything more clearly. And now let's head over to the properties panel where we now can see that each icon is basically grayish or whitish. But monochromatic doesn't mean that they have to be like um, gray or white. It means that there is only one color. So you see up here that we have uh, multiple shades of gray, but only one color. And that color now is deemable. While it is um, grayish or whitish here, up here in the outliner, we see different colors for the icons. For example, the objects are orange, object data is green, and data of the object data, for example, like uh, material, which is data of the vertex data of an object, that is red. And if I'm adding a modifier, we see firsthand that the modifier icons are not there yet, and that the modifiers are coded in blue. We have a similar thing here that um, when I do shift A, and um, regular mesh objects are all gray. But for example, um, in Grease Pencil, we have a distinction between uh, the blank and the stroke and the monkey, which is a special object. That's why the icon is white. And down here, force field, you see that not all icons are finished yet, but I am positive that they will all be finished by the end of October during Blender conference when the beta will arrive. And those monochromatic icons are actually a, a very, very controversial change because yes, they are deemable, but we are also losing um, a way to convey information in the icons, which are by default very small anyways. So by default, they are 16 by 16 pixels. And for example, now if I go to the editor type, at least for me at first glance, it's hard to discern which is the editor I'd like to use. And um, same thing, for example, here in edit mode, up here, the icons now are, since they are monochromatic, they don't longer convey that. Um, here we have, for, for example, if we do a selection, we, it's orange, but up here it's gray. So this is actually very controversial, especially since here on the left, the tool shelf icons are not monochromatic. So it's also a bit of an inconsistency there. But um, from what I understood, uh, monochromatic will be the way to go in Blender 2.8, even though it is controversial. And um, I'd like to know, what do you think about those monochromatic icons? Do you think the pros outweigh the cons? Do you think um, having them deemable um, outweighs the fact that we're losing information that can be conveyed in those very small icons? Um, please leave your thoughts down in the comments of this video. And if you want other people to see this video as well, please like it and share it. And if you want to see more videos on Blender 2.8, please subscribe to this channel. And as always, have fun trying this at home, which means there's a link in the description to the builds of Blender 2.8. Have fun and enjoy.